Welcome. Today, we will be going through an adaptation of question 5 of the Maclaurin Olympiad 2009. Alice and Brett play a game. Alice chooses five different integers. Brett wins if he can choose three of these five integers such that their sum is a multiple of three. If not, Alice wins. With best play by both, who wins? Please pause the video here and have a think about the problem on your own before proceeding to the hints and solutions. Hint number one, play out the game. Who do you find winning? Now try and prove your hypothesis. Hint number two, Try to prove your hypothesis by means of contradiction. Hint number three. The pigeonhole principle will be useful for this problem. Now, if you are unaware of this principle, all it basically says is that if you have X boxes and X plus one pigeons, then at least one of the boxes will have more than one pigeon. Now, this may seem like a very simple principle, but in fact, it can be used to solve much more confusing, much more difficult problems by just going back to the basics. And in this case, this problem will also be solved with the help of the pigeonhole principle. Hint number four. Group Alice's numbers into multiples of three, one more than a multiple of three, and two more than a multiple of three. How can you use this and the previous hint with the pigeonhole principle to solve the problem? Solution. We will prove by contradiction that Brett wins. Now group Alice's numbers into three categories. Category X being one more than a multiple of three. Category Y numbers that are two more than a multiple of three, and category Z, multiples of three. Now, each number will belong to exactly one category. If there are three numbers in any one category, Brett wins. This can be proven by means of modular arithmetic, or just by noticing that the sum of the remainders of the three numbers will be a multiple of three. And so the sum of the numbers will also be a multiple of three. Similarly, if there is one number in each of the three categories, so category X, one in category Y, and one in category Z, Brett also wins. Now suppose Alice can win. Then one of the categories will have no numbers in it. Then we need to put the five numbers in the two remaining categories. But by pigeonhole principle, one of these categories will have three numbers or more. This, however, would lead to a victory for Brett, and hence he can always win. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this video and feel free to drop a comment in the comments down below. Goodbye.